Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Joe's Daily, and what you were just listening to was me whistling as a bird. Now, if you guys watched my 25 Facts About Me video, you probably saw me doing this, uh, and I got a lot of comments asking me how to do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually not gonna teach you how to do it because I don't really know how to explain where to put your tongue and whatnot, that's what she said. No, but seriously, I don't I don't really know how to explain that, so I'm just gonna tell you the story on how I learned it or why I learned it, and it all goes back to my days in high school. So I had this friend named Joel, and this is, I think, my sophomore year of high school, and I went to a school that actually had a chapel. Now, this wasn't a private school, well, it was kind of private slash public, but yeah, we had a chapel for study, and study was really boring. I mean, we we wanted to talk to our friends. You know, if we didn't have homework to do, we wanted to chat with our friends. So what's the next best thing you can do if you can't talk to your friends, but you still want to communicate with them? Now, this is back in the days for you youngins out there. Uh, this is back in the day when we didn't really have cell phones. And if we did have cell phones, we had like a shitty Nokia cell phone that didn't really have emoticons. You know, it was just boring and most people couldn't even afford them. So this wasn't something we could just open up Twitter or YouTube or Facebook and chat with our friends. So my friend Joel and I, we decided to communicate through bird whistling. And if you can imagine, this was a big chapel. So there was three different studies going on at once. Okay, so imagine I was over here on the left and he was way over on the right. And of course it echoed. So anything you did, if you dropped your book really loud, it's gonna echo throughout the whole place. So one day Joel and I were like, hey, He's like, do you know how to whistle like a bird? And I'm like, well, I can whistle. He's like, all right, try this. So he started doing this noise and I couldn't do it right away, but he was like, so he did that. And I was like, oh, that's amazing. How do you do that? And he tried to explain it to me and it was just trial and error that I figured it out. So of course the jackasses that we were, we were in one corner of the room and he was in the other. And what he would do is he would do one bird whistle. And then I, after the teachers, literally the teachers and the classmates were all like, what the hell is going on? They literally thought the bird was in the chapel. So then after he would do it, about a couple seconds after, like no one was like looking at me, I would do it back. And of course, the teachers started going nuts. Now we did this weeks on end. Literally, we did this probably, let's say a couple months. And of course, we get caught. And you know, it's pretty ridiculous. We weren't actually affecting him. It's not like we were like causing people to not be able to study. It's like, Chill out, dude. It's just a couple birds flying through the chapel. So I got detention and because I was the one who got caught. One of the, it was funny, not even my study teacher or Joel's study teacher saw me. It was actually the one in the middle because there was three study teachers hanging out in the chapel. And she saw me from afar because she had a feeling that it was a student doing it. And then, uh, yeah, so I went to detention and had detention after school. That was probably one of my more rebellious times in school. I actually have a fighting story that I will probably tell you guys on another uh another video, but uh, yeah, that was probably the first time I went to detention. That was like my sophomore year. Now, I'm sure some of you have gotten trouble in high school or middle school, so what I want you to do is let me know in the comments if you ever got detention, suspension, and tell me what for. Share it with the Joe's Daily audience. We all wanna know. So that was my trip down memory lane. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to click the like button if you liked it, and also click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed to me yet. I make new videos every Friday, and I might start doing some on Tuesday as well, so I will see you guys soon. That was your Daily Cup of Joe. Peace.